Um, in this problem, I'll be solving again another problem in how about simple strain, but this time with uh, temperature change. So here's the problem. The rigid bar EBCD of negligible weight is, is essentially horizontal. And the steel rods attached at A and C are stress-free. The 40 kip load is then applied and the temperature of the steel rods is changed by delta T. So find delta T for which the stresses in the two steel rods will be equal. Use alpha, the coefficient of thermal expansion equal to 6.5 times 10 raised to negative 6 per degrees Fahrenheit and modulus of elasticity equal to 29 times 10 raised to 6 psi for steel. So for the steps, we start with the equilibrium equation. So let's denote this one as our rod number one and rod number two. Both of them are steel rods. So um, if you consider this force, 40 kips force, pag pull niya sa point D downward, rod A will be stretched as well as rod, uh, rod, rod number one will be stretched as well as rod number two. So therefore, ang force sa uh, rod one, tension, or tensile, ang force sa uh, rod two, tensile. Sorry. So pag tensile force, ang direction niya is away sa point. So this will be downward. Considering point A or this, considering member E, B, C, D, um, tension, man, so away from point A. And sa point C, away man, so upward siya. F2. Okay. So, considering equilibrium, we sum up moment at B. Uh, we no longer sum up forces along the horizontal and vertical to get rid of the reaction at B. So, we go directly to summation of moment sa B. Okay. So, we sum up moment at B. Our sign convention is counterclockwise positive. So, F1, ang moment sa F1 is counterclockwise with a moment arm of 4. And then for F2, counterclockwise again, moment arm of 2. While ang 40 kips or in pounds, 40,000 pounds is clockwise. So, negative siya. Moment arm niya is 4 also. So the equation is this. So for, for SI units, uh, para you will no longer write units, um, set your mind na ang force will be expressed in pounds and units of measure, uh, distances, distance, area, and everything be expressed in inches. Para ang stress, uh, PSI ta. Okay. So, ang 40 kips is expressed as ano, 40,000 pounds. Okay. So, this will be our equation one. Equation one. Now, next one is based on problem. The condition is, ano, the stresses in the two steel rods will be equal. Okay. So, based from this, uh, we equate the stress of rod 1 be equal to the stress of rod 2. No? The stresses in the two steel rods will be equal. Okay. So, stress denoted by sigma, stress of 1 equal to stress of uh, rod number 2. And the expression of stress is force per unit area. So, for sigma 1, that would be F1 divided by area 1, which is 1. And for sigma 2, 
sigma 2, it's F2 over area 2. F2 over 0.75, this one. And then you cross multiply, we can solve for F1 in terms of F2. So you cross nimo ang 1 sa right side, 1 over 0.75 is 4 thirds. So we have this one, F1 equal to 4 thirds F2. This will be our equation two. So we now have two equations with two unknowns. So you can use method of elimination or method of substitution. In this case, must simpler um, substitution. So we wanna substitute equation two to equation one. So ang expression sa F1, substitute na to there. And we can solve for F2. So we substitute equation two to equation one. This is oh no, the result. Two F2 plus four times F1 minus 40,000 times four. And we simplify, we get uh, F2 equal to 21,818.182 pounds. Oh, okay. Pounds money na itong 40,000. So, pounds po dyan. So, after this value, you, we cannot solve for F1. Either using equation 1 or, or equation 2. So, mas simple lang equation 2. So, or for e, pwede lang po equation 1. Depende lang. So, we substitute if 2 there and we can solve for if 1. Ah, sorry. This is equation 2. From equation 2. From equation 2, uh, if 1 equals 4 thirds of if 2. So, equation 2 is typo error. So, F1 is equal to 29,090.91 pounds. So, since we now have the value of the axial forces, we are now ready to solve for delta T. Okay. So, we go back to the deformation diagram. This is the, you know, the rigid bar with the rods. So, uh, pag apply sa 40 kips na force, rod 1 will be stretched. So, point A will be translated there. And ang point C po, ma-stretch man yung rod number 2. Ang C po, ma-translate uh, na vertical displacement. There is a... So, um... Let's draw this horizontal line. So, mas stress ang A. So, ang A is ma-displace. There is a pangon, upward. Mas stretch ang C. Pwede, mas stretch po siya. And draw a line. Okay. So, this will be delta 1. The deformation of rod number 1. And this will be delta 2. So, I relate na to on the okay. Para compatibility equation. We will use ratio and proportion. So, delta 1 is to 4 equals delta 2 is to 2 over 2. So, we have this delta 1 over 4 equals delta 2 over 2. And cancel na to 2 4 na eh, 2 there. Eh. cross na to. We have delta 1 equals 2 del delta 2. So, ang expression sa delta is the sum of the actual deformation and thermal. So, total value and delta kay na may temperature change involved. So, the expression is this. You know. Axial deformation plus thermal deformation of rad 1 equals 2 times total deformation of rad number 2, axial and thermal. And 
All the values are given except delta T. E or F, F1, given. Oh, na solved na. L sub 1, length of rod number 1, 4. Now, uh, for the units, force must be in pounds, length in inches, para consistent ta area in square. Ang sa E is PSI dapat. Uh, okay. Pounds mo na itong force. So, PSI. Okay. So, if you substitute values, the result is this. Uh, this is F1. Okay. Notice na for L1, na multiply sa 12, converted uh, from 4 feet, 4 feet times 12 inches. And then area is 1 inch square. E dayon 29 times, ah, uh, this is raised to negative 6. Okay. Raised, ah, sorry, sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Ang alpha, okay lang. 29 times 10 raised to 6. Sorry. 29 times 10 raised to 6. E plus alpha, modulus, I mean, coefficient of expansion times L, 4 times 12, and then delta T. And the right side for rod number 2. 2 times F2. This one, F2. Length niya 3 feet times 12. The area is 0. 0.75. And then E. And then alpha times length times delta T. So you simplify ni mo, combine similar terms like this one and then this one. And then term with delta T combines and then delta T times 2. And then after my simplify, you can solve for delta P. And the answer is negative 154.342 degrees Fahrenheit. So decrease in temperature. Uh, delta T is changed, man. So it could be an increase or a decrease in temperature. For this one, it's a decrease in temperature. So that's it. So I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.